Good morning. Rudy Waldner back with Pizza TV. We're in Originals Pizza in Overland Park, Kansas with Jack Leone. Uh, Jack's going to take us back to his pizza roots and then tell us uh, how he grew his business and is maintaining his business. First thing I want to ask you, tell us your first pizza memory. When I was a little kid, you know, I, I have three older brothers and my mother used to make some pizzas and uh, usually we had some leftover. And uh, I used to go to bed, you know, thinking about the next day I was going to find some pizza. It was always gone when I wake up because my brother used to get there before me. So, so you had pizza at home growing up in, in, uh, in Italy, in Sicily. But then you, you, you have a kind of, I want to say, a secret recipe. You learned it when and where. I started as a dishwasher in Brooklyn, New York, and then uh, moved to New Jersey for a guy named Dominic, and uh, I learned how to make pizzas, and uh, I stole all his recipes, so. So about your pizza here, what sets it apart from, from the competition? Oh, we got New York style pizza, it's kind of different style from, from the Midwest, and, and uh, everything is pretty much on May. We make the fresh dough in the morning, we shred our own mozzarella, we do everything the old fashioned way. We haven't changed nothing yet. What do you like to make best? What do you like to create behind the counter? Oh, I enjoy my job. You know, I'm back there singing. Sometimes people may think I'm crazy, but who cares? You know what I mean? There's not, and you know, I just I love what I'm doing. You know, that's what I won't be doing for so many so many years. Right. right. I think it, when I come in here, it's like you're doing stand-up comedy. But you, you keep it. Yeah. No, that's my natural way. What are you talking about? <laughs> I love that. I love that. Um, so, how far back do you go in this area? We started, uh, me and, I got two partners in this business, uh, Sal and Vito, and uh, we started in 1978, but we originally had a pizza place in New York, and uh, we came to the States in 1970, so we've been making pizzas for a long time. Beautiful, beautiful. So, I saw you make the dough, we'll share some pictures with you. Now, uh, you, you also mentioned that you make the dough just by hand, you don't use a scale for, what, 30 years? How? How? How'd you learn that? With no scale, help me. No, you get, just get a feeling. After 30 years, you know, you get the feeling, you know, how heavy it is, and uh, it's, it's really easy, you know. I know how, nothing, it's not so hard, really. <laughs> okay, he's making it look easy. On the other locations you have, some, are, some of them are in a mall, right? So what, what's the difference between the mall customer, or how do you treat the mall customer difference, or do you, than you do in this uh, strip mall location? Well, you try not to treat them any different, but it's two different clientele over here. We got people that come over here two, three times a week, you know, every day. I got people that come over here every day, and uh, you acquire, you know, you become friends with them, you joke around. At the mall, there's always different people. You don't have the opportunity or the chance, you know, to, you know, to be who you are, really. You, you've been in the community over 30 years. You have a brand name, and you just treat people right. We try to be it's just like a big family. If you're not part of the family, you don't like the family, you go somewhere else. But if you like the family, you will love it. Beautiful. So what do you want to say to everybody out there in conclusion? Well, I just want to thank all my customers and uh, for the support they've been giving us over the years. And uh, we try to please you as much as we can and whenever we can. Thank you very much for... Believe in an original pizza. Beautiful. Thanks, everybody. Ciao.